So it's with great pleasure that I commend this bill to the House. Thank you. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Just taking a short call for the Green Party on the Racing Amendment Bill. Certainly it makes a great deal of sense to ensure that some of the $300 million that New Zealanders spend um, through overseas bookmakers each year uh, is directed back to um, assisting the promotion of racing and sports in New Zealand. So that part of the bill is certainly something uh, we can support. But we do, um, as Mr Coates alluded to, have difficulties with the way in which the Working Party on Offshore Racing and Sports um, Betting, it didn't include anybody from the health sector or anyone who has an insight into the issues of uh, gambling harm and problem gambling. And we think that that failure there has led to the legislation not being um, sufficiently based on the recognition of uh, problem gambling and gambling harm because there are provisions in this bill which remove the prohibition on the TAB taking bets um, during a race. And the research shows that where you've got live betting um, happening, that that's much more likely to be a prediction of problem gambling. So if that restriction is, or that prohibition is removed, um, and there's also a proposal in the bill to remove the restriction that requires the um, TAB to only allow bets um, on sports that are represented by national sports organisations. So that potentially um, can lead to betting being allowed on a greater range of sports, um, and it's also potentially going to allow betting on novelty events. So this, all of these provisions um, increase the opportunity for more gambling and potentially um, the risks for people who uh, have issues with gambling. So we support the uh, provisions around um, putting money back into the industry from those overseas bookmakers. Uh, the bookmakers will have to get um, permission from the Department of Internal Affairs. They've got to get the agreement of the um, National Sporting Organisation if they're going to use any of the information that those organisations provide. So there are some good things in the bill. Certainly some of the revenue that is generated can be used to minimise gambling harm, but it's the loosening up of the ability to gamble that we hope that there will be significant submissions in select committee and the ability to amend the bill to recognise the harm that gambling can do. Members, this debate has concluded. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. no. The, the ayes have it. Aye. A party vote is called for. I ask the clerk to conduct a party vote. New Zealand